Actually, we don't need a new class, do we? We just need a, a graphic. We don't even need a new class. This is crazy. In our game world. Let's update this. Let's make an emitter here. Now we're going to want to reuse the fireball art. So we don't want to have to embed this art every single time. So let's go ahead and add a new class here. We'll call it game constants. No base class. We don't even need that because it's going to be a static class. Go ahead and grab this guy. Let's poop him right in there. So now, if we see fireball art, we can say game constant dot fireball art. Well, that's convenient now, isn't it? That means that we can take all this business out. We can move it in a coin into our game world. So let's go ahead and set up our emitter. That's going to be game constants dot fireball art. All these are going to be emitter, emitter, emitter. Actually, we don't even need this. Let's go ahead and update this emitter. And rename it. We'll put it back to fireball emitter. Is this going to emit fireballs? So let's go back down here. We're basically going to take this out and we're going to move this into our game world. So what we're going to want to do is say game world. Well, let's actually take this guy first. Let's put him here. I've made a terrible mistake. Where was I? There we go. So we can get the world as a game world. Again, we don't know what game world is, so we'll control shift one on that guy to typecast our world to a game world. Dot uh, emit fireball. And we'll decide where we want it. So we'll put it at the X and Y of this thing. Now this isn't a function yet. So let's go back into game world. Let's make this function. It's going to be, need to be a public function. Emit fireball. X location and Y location. We return nothing. So from here, we just want to call our fireball emitter. Emit trail. Where at? Well, how about X location and Y location? Well, that's just dandy. We also need to add our emitter as a graphic to our world. We'll probably put it below the coin duder. 
So let's add him here later. And now we can say add graphic. Fireball emitter. Having a hard time finding that guy. Because since we move this up a level, we need to take out one of these. Nope. Let's just re import all this here. Fireball generate embed code. There we go. Still gonna fuss? Yep. Let's try this again. Don't want to find anything. Game constant stuff. Fireball. Uh, boy. Ah. I think this is a public static constant. Couldn't find it because it was protected, but now that it's public, we can see it just fine. And we get a crash. And our crash was because in our fireball. Let's dismiss that. Whoa, that looks cool, but not what we want at all. We're still trying to add our fireball trail, so let's just go ahead and take that out. There we go. So now you can see we have these fireballs, but the particles are looking... I mean, it kind of looks alright there. And there. Let's get in the console and figure out exactly what's going on.